good afternoon. This is Sean Fletcher okay, from Roden. I am uh, here at Venice, the Mecca Bodybuilding Bulls Gym. About to shoot battle for the Olympia. I didn't screw that up, did I? <laughs> gonna have some fun. It's gonna be me, Charles, and my training partner, uh, Brad Rowe. We're gonna be doing some shoulders. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, hey, congratulations already, baby. <laughs> People understand. Congratulations for the future. You already perception. You put your your vision on what you want the outcome to be. The outcome, you're a winner. You made it here. Congratulations. Thank you. That's what I'm Bye. saying. Congratulations, baby. Telling you, been have a great time. Yes, what sir. up? It's all about love, guys. <laughs> all right, dude. Good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Since Bruce was wearing his Cutler outfit last time, I decided to upgrade him to uh, the Flexitron gear. Hopefully, they rock this instead of uh, nothing against Jay. Come on. Thank you. I think last year was a shocker, Bruce. Wait. Ah. How's your breath been going? Um, um, it's been a very difficult uh, but enjoyable prep. Uh, you know, being out here training with Charles, it's, it's been a very. We thought the stuff that we did in the off season was brutal. I had a guy came down here and stay with me for a week and train, and he kept saying to me, "Dude." Day one, he goes, do you just go home and, and sleep and relax? I'm like, yeah. He goes, why? I'm like, I, I got to try to recover for day two. He goes, it can't be that bad. Day two. <laughs> He's like, dude, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be doing anything while I'm out here. <laughs> and I'm like, this is how it's been since I've been back out here in gym, like every day. It's just non-stop, on the grind, getting your ass kicked, you know, and, and I, you know, Brad's been pushing me. He just did uh, both USA and uh, in North America, so he's been very excited to, you know, have someone that's also working with Chris Aceto uh, that understand day by day what I'm going through, uh, you know, what it's going to take to get to the next level, so, you know, looking forward to this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, I'm not a threat though, bro. Just some fat kid trying to get in shape. <laughs> I got a little
Charles. How's he doing? He's doing great. He's doing real good. He's going to be on top of it. He'll be all right. Changed quite a bit this year, huh? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> we'll soon tell on the stage. He'll be good. This, uh, he's been out here for a lot longer than he uh, originally uh, projected, right? Apparently, you have, uh, you're have rubbing off on him pretty well, huh? <laughs> I think we, as a team, we all rubbing off on him, which makes him good. Hard worker. He's willing to do whatever it takes. Hey, sometimes you got to do that. It's Charles say, just keep your mouth shut. Focus while you're out here. So, you know, everybody has an opinion and they're going to say what they want to say. You know, some is just to keep the spotlight on them. I don't give a shit about the spotlight, dude. Some people want to live in that moment. Here, left. <laughs>
very far. have we made this year? Tell your fans. Everything. Like as far as poundage or everything. Uh, uh, after sitting down and talking to Chris, you know, decided to like focus on just making small improvement, but bring the, everything back in the shop, beat it all out, and just bring a better package overall. And, um, as if anything was more we could have done last year, so you know, a lot of people might be expecting to see that same look. We just, you know, being able to work with Charles and maybe able to see you know, all three of us being on the same page, it's you know, being very impressive as far as adding more for 3D dimension and making the mess of filler around it. You know, so that being said, it was, it's been a great since June. And I haven't missed a day in the gym. <laughs> so I'm excited.
went after, we succeeded in accomplishing. So that's the big thing. What were the main, what were, like, the main bullet points that you were focused on uh, that you noticed? Because like when I was here filming last time, you went up in the posing room and you were like, okay, we got to focus on the chest, that, that, that kind of stuff. So like, tell the, tell well, the exact same. Well, the things we looked at was being chest. We need more thickness on the lats. Um, we want to make sure that we left no holes for them to pick on. And every single item that we picked out in the pose room was the things that we worked on very hard, and they all improved. It, he's not one-dimensional anymore. He's thick. You can see it. You can see the depth that he has you know, obtained since he's been training. And he put 110% in every single workout, so it paid off. You'll be uh, surprised when we get the unveiling, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll see a different body here from a Ford Escort to a Ferrari. <laughs> about his, uh, his progress this year? It's no incredible. Class. I mean, I already thought he was number one last year. So I'm a little biased. I'm, I'm, I'm for pretty physiques, you know? He's got a lot of mass this time, so, you know, they, if he was missing anything, if that's what they thought, then he's got it this year. So this guy's better bring it, which I think everybody is looking around at what I've seen so far. He's probably gonna be the most competitive Olympia probably ever, to be honest with you. So I'm pretty excited to see, see Sean go up there and. Uh, get what he deserves. Right now everything's flowing pretty good, so that's the biggest thing. Most guys don't have that flow. It's, it's put together, but it's not, it doesn't flow right. Now you'll see it. How's your energy levels and stuff going? I'm going to tell you, uh, <laughs> the past, uh, this past week has been, uh, it's been very, uh, the past two weeks has been very difficult. <laughs> I started driving a car without gas and still got 50 miles to go. And uh, 
you just know that you uh, you have to do it no matter if there's fumes or a full tank of gas. I think uh, last week I had a two massage appointment that I completely forget about and it's right next door. <laughs> I walked out of here and went home to take a nap and Jeff called me, dude, where you at? I'm like, what do you mean, where am I at? I'm home. Do you have an appointment? It's been a, it's been a, that kind of uh, prep, which you know the sacrifice, you know the end result from giving it everything you got and being in the grind and and it just, I told myself as long as they improved in everything that I needed to improve on and showed up this year, you just leave it up to the judges because at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's in somebody else's hands, but it's just making the necessary changes that I need to improve me. You said this is the hardest you've ever worked as yeah. a prep for any year that you've ever any been competing, ever competed. Correct? Is it because of the focus, or what, what made this year so much more important? It's because you got that third place last year, and it's like you have that chance, you got that final opening that says, okay, I could be up here. What was it that made you, that made you do that? Every year since I've turned pro, um, I've made improvement, and every year it gets a little bit harder because you keep remembering your last show. And for me, trying to improve on what I did last year, you know, especially from Tampa into Prague, and then try to improve on that, you know, you've set the bar one high for yourself. And with all the crap, you know, that people are not running around talking about, you know, just to myself, I'm a work in silence and just dig deeper, surround myself with the people that understand what I'm trying to get to. And yes, you know, it plays a big part. Standing on stage last year at the Olympia, hearing your name called for third place, and realizing that everything that was once a dream could be reality. And standing there opening the door and looking in and realize oh shit you know it's not that far away you know so why not just step through and again do the little stuff that you don't normally do to get there you know that's what i've been doing this year so it makes it prep a little bit harder but at the same time i'm enjoying the ride and you'd say that this last year you've seen the most change yes. as a pro than any other year you've been yes. training and why is that this has been my first off season since I turned pro. So I had more time to you know, focus on the off season and make the necessary changes in the off season. Stay a little bit leaner during the off season. You know, it was my first full year working with Chris. You know, so I get to understand my body as well as Chris get to understand my body a little bit more. Working with Charles and seeing what he has done for all the guys in the past. You know, getting the extra push, you know, uh, consistent training partner, you know, with Brad Rowe, you know, you know, someone that, again, it's just surrounding yourself with people just willing to push you that extra mile, and it's genuine, you know, and it's like we all pull for each other, and, you know, we understand at the end of the day, as long as we come in here and give it all you got, dude. <laughs> Like just leave nothing to chance. You know, both me and Brad, we're working with Charles Glass and Chris Aceto two of the greatest mind, in my opinion, that ever assembly to work with any competitor on this planet. And for someone to even remotely says that, oh man, he's too old to make any kind of improvement, I'm like thinking, unless I came in here in a wheelchair, and I know my upper body would be sick. <laughs> so for you to even remotely make a comment like that, it's just, listen, you can say whatever you want to say about me, but if, in my opinion, you disrespect them you know, two great minds that, you know, I worked with Chris last year from, uh, from May until October. 
and the results speak for itself. And then you're gonna, you know, make comments like that. It's just kind of like, wow, say crap about me. That's fine, but <laughs> that's saying that the people that I'm working with don't know what they're doing. excited and glad to be in the battle for the Olympia 2013 once again hope you guys will join me in the winning circle come September at the Orleans Arena 2013 Joe Weider Mr. Olympia I'd like to thank Weider AMI Juan Coleman St. Jaceres Chic Sport thank you guys for all your support friends and family Love you guys and see y'all in Vegas. Peace.